Okay, we're working with two-step equations and multi-step equations. Uh, there are going to be two x's on the last two. One is going to be an example of x's on both sides, and the other one is going to be x's on the same side. So you can see the difference between the two. So let's get through some, through some two-step equations. So when you're trying to solve a two-step equation, you're trying to leave x by itself. Your goal is to leave this letter by itself. There are two things happening to the x. Okay, that it's being subtracted by 5 and it's being multiplied by 3. You have to get rid of one of these. Which one do you get rid of? You're doing PEMDAS backwards. So instead of getting starting with P, you're starting with the S. So you're getting rid of adding and subtracting first. Okay, adding and subtracting first. And then you're getting rid of multiplying and dividing. And then the last thing you get rid of are things in parentheses or anything grouped in some way. So for this one. Okay, uh, I'm going to get rid of adding and subtracting first, which is a minus 5. The opposite of a minus 5 is plus 5. So add 5. It goes away. Okay, but whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. The other side meaning the other side of the equal side. Okay, so if I add 5 to this side, I have to add 5 to that side. So I haven't done anything to the 3x. It's going to come down. So I'm left with a 3x, an equal sign, and a 15. So now 3 is all by itself. What's the opposite of multiplying? Because this next to a letter means multiplying. What's the opposite of multiplying by 3? Dividing by 3. How do I divide by 3? I make a line, divide by 3. This cancels, and I divide by 3 on this side, and x equals 5. All right, 15 divided by 3 is 5, so x is 5. All right, now we're going to be working on this one over here. So again, we're getting rid of adding and subtracting first, okay? Adding and subtracting, and then we're going to get rid of multiplication division, which is the dividing 3 that's here. So what's the opposite of plus 2? That's going to be minus 2. That is gone. Minus 2. We are left with x over 3 equals 6. So now that we know that now that we have gotten rid of the plus 2, we have to get rid of the 3. x is being divided by 3. The opposite of dividing by 3 is multiply by 3. This cancels away. Multiply by 3. x equals 18. All right. Now we're going to keep on going. Now we're going to do this one. Now, I know that adding and subtracting usually goes first, okay? But this is not just adding and subtracting. This has been grouped together by this division sign. These two have been grouped, which means they're in parentheses. So if you're doing PEMDAS backwards, PEM parentheses would not be first. It would be the last thing you get rid of. So in this case, you'd have to get rid of the 3. The 3 is dividing. How do we, how do, what's the opposite of dividing by 3? multiplying by 3, okay? Multiply one side by 3, crosses out. Multiply this side by 3, x minus 5 equals 21. Then, now we have to get rid of the minus 5. We are going to add 5 and add 5. x is being left with 26. So 26 is the correct answer. All right, this one here. Now, this year I asked you guys which scenario you wanted to solve this with, and the scenario we chose was to change the way that this looks. So I'm going to change the way it looks before we start. The x goes with the 2. So 2x divided by 7 equals 6. Okay? Now, the top has been grouped together, so it's in parentheses. So we're going to be dividing, we're going to get rid of the dividing by 7 first. The opposite of dividing by 7 is multiplying by 7. Gone. Multiply by 7. We're left with a 2x equals 42. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. Divided by 2. x is 21. All right. Now...
we're going to be doing this one here. Okay, we are getting rid. Now, here there's a different scenario. There are two X's, two X's. We have to get rid of one. I recommend to get rid of the lower one in this first step. Do you have to get rid of the lower one? No, you do not. I am just recommending that you get rid of the lower one. You'll deal with less negative numbers in that scenario. So of these two, the smaller one is the 5X. I'm going to get rid of the 5X. I need to be gone. I don't want to have two different X's. Everything, every answer ends with X equals, not X equals another X. So I got to get rid of one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Minus 5X. So now this is gone. There are no more X's on this side. This side just has a positive 36 on it. But again, whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so if I took away 5X from this side, I have to also take away 5X's from that side. So now we're left with 3X's, a plus 9. I have not done anything with the plus 9, so it just comes down. Now this is a two-step equation again. We're going to get rid of the 9 first because it's adding, subtracting. So the opposite of plus 9 is minus 9. We're left with 3x equals 27. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. x equals 9. All right. Now we're going to shift this way. Okay, hopefully we're still on the screen there we go so on this side we had x's on the opposite side so i had to do the opposite to get rid of it you see how in the positive five i did a negative five here to get rid of it okay when they're on the same exact side okay you do not have to do the opposite you can literally do what it says so this says 7x plus 2x leaving us with 9x plus 11 equals 74. All right, which one do we get rid of? We get rid of the 11. What's the opposite of plus 11? Minus 11, okay? Minus 11, so now this is gone, and now I have a 9x I haven't done anything with. The equal sign comes down. 74 minus 11 is 63. Divide by nine, cancel, divide by nine, x equals seven. Hopefully I'm on the screen for that. And that's it.